EPR is a way on ResMed machines that you can reduce the pressure when you exhale. Different machines are going to have different names for exhale relief. So it might be exhale relief or breathe easy or, or some sort of name that refers to breathing easy when exhaling. We're gonna take our two fingers, press that there, hold down, you'll see the clinical menu there. Select settings, scroll down. Here you're gonna see EPR, you're also gonna see things like ramp time and set pressure. Okay, so your EPR, you wanna turn that on. And then you have two styles of EPR full time. So your EPR is on all the time and then we have ramp. So it's only on during the ramp phase, but here we're gonna click full time. And then we have some levels here. So EPR level, it's currently set at two. We can have one, two, three. And if we wanna turn it off, we can turn it off just like there. Now the one, two, three is just the pressure that it's gonna be decreasing by when you exhale. For example, if you have a pressure, a set pressure of 10 centimeters of water pressure, and you have uh, EPR set at two, then when you exhale, uh, it's gonna dip to that pressure of eight. So 10 minus two equals eight. If you're at a pressure of 15 and you set it at three, 15 minus three is 12. So when you exhale, it's gonna be giving you 12 centimeters of water pressure. Now with ResMed machines specifically, I would say that the EPR is uh, fairly aggressive. So Throughout the entire exhalation phase, it's gonna be at that pressure. Some different machines um, kind of dip to that pressure and slowly ramp up, but the ResMed machines are pretty aggressive. So you are gonna be dipping to that pressure for the entirety of that exhalation time. That means for clients using ResMed products, it might be wise to increase your pressure by one or two to uh, help with that EPR. Uh, now, I know that sounds a little counterintuitive because the whole point of EPR is to make it a little more comfortable um, and to reduce pressure. However, that being said, one of the things that helps with being comfortable is actually variance, your body having a difference between inhaling and exhaling. That's what EPR is gonna do. However, if you have a more aggressive EPR, like a level three, for example, that might be a little too much and you might notice some more sleep apneas or your AHI level going up, meaning your therapy is not being as effective. If you're turning on EPR for the first time, if you're gonna turn your EPR to a setting of one, I would probably leave your pressure the same. But if you're turning it on to a level two, I'd probably increase your pressure by one. And if you're turning on to a level three, I would probably increase your pressure by one or two, okay? So for example, say you're starting with a pressure of 10 and you wanna turn your EPR on. If you turn it on to one, I would leave your pressure at 10. If you're turning it on to level two, I would probably increase your overall pressure to 11. And then if you're turning on to a level three, I would probably increase your pressure to a level 12. Now that is just a general rule that works with many of our clients, but it is important to consult your physician and just to give a few test trial runs, look at your results and figure out what is going to be best for you in the long run. Now you might be thinking, is EPR even worth it? It sounds complicated. It's really not, and it is actually really worth it. It's going to be a lot easier for you to follow your CPAP therapy. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable. And in most cases, if dialed in correctly, it's going to help with your sleep apnea in general, okay? It's gonna decrease pressure overall over the average of your night, and that's going to help with leaks, and it's going to help with your own body being able to regulate breaths and kind of understanding the difference between exhale and inhale as you sleep. So it's definitely worth turning it on if you haven't already. Also, if you deal with claustrophobia when using CPAP, turning EPR on can definitely increase uh, the amount you're gonna wanna use your CPAP because your body can feel the difference between inhale, exhale. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable and it's gonna feel a lot less constricting. Thank you for watching our YouTube video. Take care.